Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got looks at space weather. What we said would happen in last night's live stream indeed did happen. We have two excellent science updates, one on the moon and one on the Earth. We've got notes about the live stream from last night and... This is the last 24 hours on our star where we find a moderate sustained activity level with moderate flaring, small pops, slow weak CMEs released and considerable coronal movement. Despite it all, the sunspots are departing and nothing more was launched our way. In the live show last night, we cautioned that NOAA simply overguessed the shockwave speed and that they should not have erased the event from the forecast. Well, it did strike a few hours ago. It did so weakly and now NOAA once again acknowledges we may enter geomagnetic storm conditions today with the KP already beginning to rise. Either way, it is going to be minor. Looking ahead, well, that is a serious coronal hole. It's going to hit us with an enhanced solar wind twice. The portion facing Earth right now will have its solar wind arrive this weekend, and that is when the trailing portion that hooks around to the left side will be facing Earth and starting to send its solar wind our way. Up next, folks, moonquakes. Scientists knew they existed, but now they're saying they think that the activity must be much greater than they realized. It's what's changing the landscape so quickly, not micrometeoroid impacts. And that sounds a lot like what's happening to Mars, doesn't it? Or Jupiter's moon Io, awakening. Only serious observers are going to get that one. And the top story today, this is a pretty good look at the geodesy breakdown of the Chandler Wobble where it disappeared and then came back, around the same time as the major early millennium acceleration of the pole shift. No folks, it's not them pumping groundwater or pumping water back down, which is bad for other reasons. This is the Earth getting ready to have a serious glitch, the pole shift. Folks, last night's live show is not suitable for YouTube. The critical portion why is now posted on my X account at SunWeatherMan. Link is below. This is about as hard as I go, but also it's about as on target as I get. Can't post it here. Hope you check it out there. Folks, winter tour tickets still available for the four remaining events. San Diego is three days away and it's one month to Orlando. This is not just the details of the disaster, but how you survive it. And what I can now confidently say is confirmed that almost everyone is doing prepping the wrong way. Wasting time, wasting money, and somewhat jeopardizing your survival. Folks, if you are coming out to Observer Ranch this coming year, or you just want to support this larger group of individuals, consider the Observer Ranch membership. You get free nights at the ranch, your name on the founder wall, health center access, discounts, and knowing that you're supporting the kids' educational programs we do and the special guest speakers. Links are below, and whether on tour or at the ranch, come see us. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.